Scranton Reads, 2008. The Maltese Falcon. I got to the office late that morning. Angie took one look at my face as I walked through the door and reached for the coffee pot. She smiled slyly and said, tough night, boss, as she handed me a cup. I said, no, it was a good one, but it feels too short today. I went into the inner office and sat down at my desk. As I sipped my coffee, it was hot and black the way I needed it to be. I looked through the telephone messages Angie had left for me. There was one from Sergeant Guffey. It was threatening. He said he was talking to the DA about me and I had better start being more cooperative in the future. I smiled. Guffey never did learn how to bluff the right way. Then Angie buzzed me. There's a Miss Aston here to see you. She doesn't have an appointment. Send her in, I said. Angie opened the door and Miss Aston walked in. She was shapely, blonde, and nervous. Before I could even say good morning, she said, I suppose I should admit right off that I'm here only because I don't know anybody else I can turn to.